This is Monica. She's HR director for a transportation firm and wants to know if she's getting good value from the money she's spending on salaries. And here's Paul. He's one of the firm's operations managers and wants to know if he's being paid fairly compared to similar jobs in other companies, as well as to his old friend Bert from finance. Job evaluation can answer these questions. By measuring the value of jobs in an organization, it tells employers if they're paying their people the right amount and it tells employees if the company is giving them fair pay compared with jobs of similar value. To work out the relative size and value of Paul's job compared to Bert's, we look at three things. First, the value each role adds to the organization. We call this accountability. Second, the challenges the employee needs to address to deliver that value. We call this problem solving. And third, the knowledge, skills, and experience they need to make it all happen. We call this know-how. Then, we give a score to each factor and add them together to come up with the final job size, as measured in hay points, for that role. We're not done yet, though. We know how big Paul's job is, but by looking at what it focuses on, we can also identify what kind of job it is, its profile. As Paul's job focuses on hitting operational targets for the department, we'd say it has an accountability-led profile. Knowing this helps us pick the right person for the job when it next becomes vacant. But it also flags another issue. Most of Paul's bonus is based on the total profit for the company, which doesn't reflect the focus of his job. So, the company needs to think about the design of its bonus scheme. So where does that all leave Paul, who's still waiting to hear if he's paid fairly compared to Bert? Well, we can now exclusively reveal that Paul is paid less than Bert, but that it's fair. Their jobs are very different, and although Paul scored more points than Bert's for accountability, it scored fewer for problem solving and know-how. So, while Paul may feel his job makes a bigger contribution, it's actually a smaller job in overall terms. But what about the difference between what Paul and Bert are paid? Is that reasonable? Job evaluation will tell us that too. Because we know the difference in hay points, we can compare this to the difference in salaries to see if they're in proportion. And the good news is that they are. So Monica can explain to Paul that his salary is fair in comparison with the others, including Bert's, and because hay points mean the same thing across thousands of organizations, Monica can also tell him that 50% of organizations would pay the same or less for a similar job, which means that Paul's pay is competitive externally as well as internally, and Monica isn't spending more than is reasonable. So, everyone's happy. But that's still not quite the end of the story. Job evaluation has given Monica and Paul practical, objective answers to their questions, but it's also shown Monica that she needs to think about the bonus design for Paul's job, and it's given her the information she needs to start thinking about the type of person to replace Paul when he moves on. Not that he's planning on doing that anytime soon.